Welcome to the Kingdom Hairstylist Podcast. This is your host, Billy Jean. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kingdom Hairstylist Podcast. This is your host, my name is Billie Jean. Welcome to every new listener. Thank you to all of the returning listeners. Y'all have been so, so amazing as far as supporting this podcast. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Before we get into today's episode, I'm going to say a short, quick prayer. Father, I praise you, God. I thank you this morning um, for just allowing us to come together again to listen to your wisdom, Father. I pray that you would decrease all of me and increase all of your voice. Let this podcast be about all that you want the people to hear. Father, we love you so much. We magnify your name, God. We love you for who you are. We praise you and we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. So I just wanted to get on here today and just to share some things that have been on my heart. I was praying and just asking God about, you know, what I should be talking about on this podcast because I definitely want to always include him because this is his podcast. Everything that I do belongs to God. Um, I live for him and I love him. And so I just want to make sure that I am doing things that honor him and not just honoring myself. So today we're going to talk about how God increases us. So a lot of things have been happening for me lately that just like, I know that God said he was going to do certain things for me. I know that he's given me certain promises, certain prophecies, all that throughout my life. And it's like all this stuff is just starting to happen at one time. And I had already shared on here before how I got promoted to be the worship leader at my church. But also just how I got promoted as when I was I've been working out with a trainer and I started off, you know, doing my own thing because all of the people that have been going to this trainer have been going for a couple of years now so they a little more well they are a whole lot more advanced than I am but because I've been doing so good you know he promoted me up to work out with them so I didn't ask for none of these promotions that have been happening for me but it's like God gives you the promotion you don't give yourself the promotion and I always feel so underqualified for things just like when my friend asked me to speak at that conference that I did, um, was it this year? Yeah, it was this year or was it last year? Yeah, it was this year. The conference that I spoke at recently, that that was not something that I asked God for. I never asked him, you know, to be a guest speaker or I never even desired to, to speak at a conference. So that was amazing just to get that increase and to get that promotion Um, God has just been elevating me. I have turned down a lot of things. Like I I stopped drinking, as you all know. I stopped smoking weed. Um, I just have been really yielding to God and really just wanting him to use me in every capacity that he wants to use me in. And it's like the more I give up, the more he gives me. And it's almost like he was waiting for those things, for me to give up those things. And you know, not, and like I always mention, not that sin is, not that drinking is a sin, but it's not something that's good for us. So it's not something that we should be doing, even though, you know, that he doesn't state in the Bible, oh yeah, drinking is a sin. In fact, they talk about drinking wine and stuff. So a lot of us feel like, oh, well, since they drank wine in the Bible, we can drink, but we got to remember that a lot of the stuff that they did back then was a little more pure than what we have. Like, A lot of this stuff that we have now is way worse than what was going on back in the Old Testament. And so it's just, it's like we just have to use our own wisdom to know what's right and what's wrong. And um, I just didn't like waking up every day, you know, after drinking with a headache or with a hangover. And I just couldn't get much done because I can't think when I'm not sober and I just needed to make these changes for my health as well. Like even just working out, these are things that I know is going to keep me here longer. You know, even though God is the one who, you know, decides our day and time to go. But I also know that we can we can aid in that by doing a lot of things that are not good for us. 
And so I just want to live righteous. I want to live good. I, I told you all before that I have just literally been praying and asking God to love what he loves and to hate what he hates. And I know some things that he just does not hate. And the Bible tells us to be not drunk with wine, but to be drunk with the Holy Spirit. And I would rather be drunk with the Holy Spirit because then I know I can accomplish anything with having him. And so I just wanted to talk about how God gives us the increase. So, you know, I have a class coming up April the 30th, and I'm going to link how to register for the class um, in the show notes. But I'm talking a whole lot about how to make more money in this class. But, you know, God gives us the increase. He gave me all these clients. He gave me the increase. He gave me more money. And he also has given me the knowledge on how to share with you all how to make more money as well. So God gives us the the increase. He qualifies us. He gives, once we give him our yes, once we surrender to him fully and totally, he can use us in any way that he wants to. And there's been a lot of talk. I don't know if you guys are, you know, YouTube watchers, but there's been a lot of talk about the wealth transfer, how, you know, God's going to transfer the wealth from the wicked to the righteous. And um, I just want to be in position. So now that I have become righteous and I'm still working at it, there's still some other things that God is working on me about, you know, when it comes to like my attitude, there's still some things that he's still growing me up in. There's some things that he's still dealing with me because I'm not perfect. I'm not. Um, I'm just striving to be better. That's what I that's what I'm doing in this moment, trying to be the best version of Billy that I could be. Because I know that there's more and I know that he can't use me if I'm, you know, a certain way. So I have just been just so grateful. I've been in a space of just being so grateful these days that God even wants to use me because, you know, I gave up a lot because I love God. You know, I love him more than anything in this world. I love him more than my family. I love him more than anybody. I love God more than I love anything. And so I really want my life to look like that. I want my life to be an example of that. And I always ask God to continue to work on me, you know, because I know that I'm not perfect. And I know that there's still areas of things that he wants to do in me. And um, all he needs is my surrender. All he needs is me to partner with him and have faith in the things that he says that he's going to do. And, um, I just been reading the Bible a whole lot more and I know that I um as I'm reading I'm increasing the knowledge of God and I'm increasing who he is in my life and I'm starting to realize that I was doing my faith walk all wrong like I just wasn't really reading the Bible and I I called myself a Christian but I didn't know the word. I didn't know any of the word. I just called myself a Christian because I did. I already believed that Jesus was my Lord and Savior. But, you know, mostly it was because of how I was brought up. You know, we just went to church every Sunday. But it really wasn't mandatory to read our Bible. And if you think about other religions, you know, they're constantly reading their Bibles or whatever they consider to be their Bible, their book. Um and so I was like, I got to get better because I need to know who God is. I need to know his character. And a lot of us say, you know, well, we can't hear from God or we haven't gotten any advice or he hasn't guided, you know, guided our steps or ordered our footsteps. But he really has. And if you read the Bible, it helps you. It helps you to understand what God wants you to do, what he expects of you. And it helps you to understand who he is as a person. You know, if you don't know who he is as a person, how can you have a relationship with him? But God has been showing out in my life. Like for the past couple of years, like every time I think about something that, you know, has been going wrong, like I think about where it's going right. Like what God has been doing. Where is God? Basically, I'll look at the situation and say, well, where was God at that in the, at that time or in that particular moment? And I'll look and I'll see, oh, he was right there the whole entire time. And enough, something that really happened for me to say God is super real is when I was going through a very, very rough time. And, you know, God spoke to me and told me that he just wanted me to be still because he's fighting for me. 
And that was enough. That was enough for me to just worship him, praise him, honor him, and get out of the way. Because you don't want to be in the way of God's wrath. You don't want to be in the way of God's judgment. You don't want to be in the way when God is moving and working in your life. You want to just surrender and you want to lay down and bow down and let God be God. And so that's what I've been doing. And so since I've done that, it's like he's increasing me in areas that I didn't even expect to get a promotion. I mean, and even just thinking about how much increase he has given me in my businesses, I just really can't. I just can't thank him enough. And if I, if I had not yielded to him, if I had not put myself in a position to let him do this work in my life, then I would still be in the way. I would still be broke. I would still be just behind on every bill. And I mean, just, I mean, it's just amazing. So if you had to take away anything that I said today from this podcast is to get out of God's way and to surrender to him and let him bring your increase. He increases us. And in fact, when I was, you know, preparing for this, this word this morning, um, I'm sorry y'all could hear me typing in the background, but as I was, I was looking up my notes, as I was preparing, I was like asking God, you know, about increase and about promotion. And, um, he took me to first Corinthians three, what is it? Three, six, three, verse six and seven. Then it says, um, I planted the seed in you. No, I planted the seed in your hearts and Apollos watered it. This is coming from Paul. But it was God who made it grow. It's not important who does the planting or who does the watering. What's important is that God makes the seed grow. And that's coming from the New Living Translation. And that's just to say that, you know, there are people around you who will plant seeds in you. Like even me just giving you this word right now is planting a seed. But once you take it back to God and pray about, well, God, I heard Billy say this on the podcast, that you give the increase, that you give the promotion. Where are you promoting me? Are you going to promote me? You know, is there something I need to do to yield? Is there something I need to surrender? Once you take that back to God, he's going to grow it. He's going to give you increase. He's going to give you promotion because you actually took the time to listen to this word to pray about it and to take it back to God basically and then God is going to to make it grow and he once he sees that you're yielded to him and sees that you're ready he's going to help you he's going to grow you up he's going to give you the increase that you need and everything there's some things that I'm still believing in God for there's some still there's still some areas of things that God is saying he's going to do some stuff in my life and I believe him I wholeheartedly believe him and I believe him because he's been showing up. And even before the before he has given me the increase of the promotion that he's just given me, he was already doing things. He was already preparing me for time as this. Just like Esther, when she was, you know, getting ready to be queen, she went to go prepare for a whole year to be pampered, to, you know, to get herself ready for the position. And once the promotion came, once she became queen, she was ready. So it's like you go through things, you know, you never understand why you have to go through so much. But when you look back over your life, you're like, oh, God, you really were preparing me for such a time as this. And um, becoming a worship leader has I never wanted to be a worship leader. That's not something that I just wanted to be a part of the choir. I honestly did. I never said, oh, God, I want to be a, a worship leader. But that's how God how good God is. He will give you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ask or think. You may just be thinking small. You may just be like, I just want to do this. And he's like, oh, okay. You want to do this? You want to do hair? Okay, well, I'm about to give you a whole building. You're getting ready to be an owner. And you're like, wait a minute. All I wanted to do was just retire. I mean, you know, leave my job and come do hair. And he already knows what you have on the inside of you. And he knows that you trust him. He knows that he can count on you. He knows that he can use you. He knows that you're righteous. So he wants to give you more. And we just play it small because we just don't feel qualified. But when we allow God to use us, that's when he uses us. (laughs) That's when he goes and does the unexpected. And you just wake up one day and you're a worship leader. (laughs) So 
because I have this position now, I have been asking God because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be one of those people that get so excited and run with things and forget about God. So I have been literally praying about this position, yielding to him, asking him how he wants me to do it, praying over it and just worshiping him in my private time so that when I get in the public, because I haven't started yet, I want to be ready. So I'm asking him to help me get prepared for everything. Um, And I actually signed up for this class that I'm going to go to. Well, it's not really, well, it's called a symposium, but it's a two-day workshop basically for all worship leaders. So I'm excited for that. I found it because God wanted me to find it. I was just on Instagram and I had already been praying about how to do this job. And so then I just see this and I'm like, wait a minute, God, you, you are so good. You want me to go to this. Okay, I'm going. So it's in April. So I'll be going to that. And I know that that will help me prepare for what God has for me. And um, so I just, I love you guys so much. And I'm always trying to share things that I know can help you. And um, so I just pray that you would, you know, pray about this stuff. Like there's some areas in your life where God is trying to promote you or he has already promoted you and you just don't even feel qualified. So you just got to pray about it. You go and take it back to God and you ask him about it and he will begin to show you what it is that you need. And um, another thing I've been really, really working hard at is really being still before God, really sitting with him and spending time with him today. I want to go, you know, buy some water because I know usually when I go outside and sit by water, I can really hear from God. So I really want to go walk today or, you know, just go sit by some water and go deeper with God because God is the most important person in my life. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I love my children. I love my husband, but God is number one and he will always be number one. So I thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast and for supporting it don't forget to sign up for the class it's going to be april 30th it's a sunday from 11 to 3 it's going to be so amazing the tickets are still on sale you still have an opportunity to pay 50 dollars if you put in the early bird code at checkout um after the 31st of march they go up to 60 um you don't want to miss it it's going to be amazing i'm going to share everything that i have to give you about making more money in this beauty industry and if you don't want to come then you can send it to someone you know needs that needs it or you can sponsor someone so i hope you have a blessed rest of the week i love you guys and we will talk soon thanks for listening thank you for tuning in to another episode if you enjoyed the podcast please like it subscribe to it and share it with all of your friends